Hey, 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 it's Tia, baby. And I am back with part two. Now, I could have just kept it with just one part and just said what I said in those five minutes, which I pretty much said everything within those five minutes compared to her long essay. I'm just going by that long essay. I think I, I stated it in the first part that if she wasn't unbothered by what was said about her, the rumors or whatever, then why even respond at all? Why even write that long drafted essay? You know how many times Beyonce has been talked about in reference to her relationship with Jay-Z or just her with Destiny Child in general? And she has not commented once. You know how many times um, Will Smith and Jada has been bashed by, by other celebrities, by so-called fans or, or um, trolls or whatever? And they keep it classy and don't really even say much of nothing. I stated this before, I believe. She is supposed to be a so-called celebrity, even though I never heard her music played on the radio. Not hating, because I know that's the first word that she's going to claim somebody is doing, hating. No one's hating on her, on you, boo-boo. No one. I'm just stating facts. Where I'm from, I have not heard your music on played on a, on a radio, mainstream, you might say. Um, but I'm not knocking you down. I'm, you're pretty much well known. Yes, you are through Chris and through you know Selena's brothers with the um, Cumbia Kings and um, All Stars and all of that. Yeah, you're you're very popular in the Latin community, I guess. However. Keep pipe that pipe that down for real, because you don't know who you're talking to. Secondly, secondly, if you are this is if this is your job as as a so-called celebrity, then you know that comes with the territory of people are going to say what they what they think the narrative of your story is or whatever. I don't know what your story is. I'm just the messenger. I'm just the messenger. As the saying goes, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just the messenger. I didn't put out these rumors about you. They were already out prior to me even becoming a YouTuber. I just kept getting feedback and um, requests to talk about it. I stated in my video that I did not hear, that I did not read any articles pertaining to you as the side chick. I just go by i just went by what everybody is saying they people are saying that they read it they looked at it on their own eyes that they seen that this was going on and people that you know know of you guys or know them and said the same thing so you can't get mad at me for putting it out there it was already out there before i even put it out there sweetie so get off your high horse if you can't take the heat, then you need to move stage left. Maybe being a celebrity, quote unquote, isn't for you. Just like you're doing your job as a celebrity, I'm doing my job as a YouTuber, just delivering the message. That is it. You can't get mad at me for just being the messenger once again. You can't be mad at that. Obviously, you can't handle the showbiz because you're going on, you're going off on the deep end, making writing long drafted essays about a video come on that you really didn't even listen very well with because i didn't say nothing bad about you i didn't hate on you i don't care about you period i don't know you to hate on you i'm driving so i am a little aggressive but yeah i have no reason to hate on you sweetie that's the first thing people want to say. Call somebody hate because they disagree with whatever it is you, a person does. It's called an opinion. Yeah, some people don't can't take opinions well. And one of them. Sometimes I don't like it when people disagree with me because, you know, of my pride or whatever. Or I feel like I'm right. But you live and you learn. You got to accept it. It's life. Get over it. And like someone pointed out in the comment section of my other video. Selena was a class act. 
she didn't go off on no rant when, because the rumors were spread about her. She just laughed it off, like someone said, even in the interview. She she proved in a classy way that her behind was real. She didn't go off the deep end. Yeah, it, it wasn't no social media back then, but she could have said something. She could have ranted off in an interview, but she didn't. She kept it classy. I can't say that about you since you want to want to um want to um cheer off aries women i don't know much about them i really don't care for them i mean i like selena selena's different but i had a, a bad i had a bad running with an aries woman but like i said the way you came off was very very unladylike very unladylike and it really rubbed me the wrong way because i'm like why is she going off on a video that did not even say anything bad about her I'm just relaying what, what, what they want me to talk about. And I didn't say, oh, she's a bad person. Oh, she this. I, I said I could, I cannot confirm nor deny that she was a side piece or anything. So why are you getting mad at the messenger? You should be getting mad at the people that started this rumor, not me. And then if you're, and then you're, and then, you know, Selena's husband wants to, you know, protect you. That's fine. You're friends with him. I don't care. I'm, I don't care. That comes with the territory. Okay, but he's a goddamn on 50 year old man acting like a child by saying, oh, oh, F them with the trumpets and all that. Really? Really? Obviously, he doesn't listen well either because I did not say anything bad about neither one of them. I'm just relaying the damn message. That is it. That comes with the territory. He should, if all people should know that. And then, um, and then. If that's the case, you want to act all big and bad about a, a, a small YouTuber like myself, but then you don't say nothing when the Keith the Neal family come after you. You want to act all timid and, and don't say nothing and, and, and try to um, and try to pretend to be the um to be the bigger guy, which I thought you were, but maybe you're timid because you had a lot of balls, you know, saying f. F them, and I guess you're directing that towards me, who, a small YouTuber that's just doing their job, but you ain't saying F them to those that basically treated you like trash, like you didn't mean nothing to their daughter or their sister. Rub that energy to them, not me. And that's on period. So like I said in the beginning of the video, if you want to say F me, F y'all, period. But I'm not going to, you know, I, I, I'm, I was a little upset and I'm still a little upset because I'm like, boy, what is the heck is she going off the deep end over a, me a messenger? She act like I made up that rumor. She act, if it is a rumor, I don't know if it's rumor or facts. If it ain't facts, why are you getting mad? If it ain't facts, why did you respond? Why'd you even respond? You should have just kept it classy and just not said a damn thing, period. That's just basic. You're basically telling on yourself. You're telling on yourself that you were one because you reacted. So, baby, that's on you, not me, you. And I'm going to continue to do what I do on YouTube, whether you like it or not. I get it. I get, you know, you don't like ne um, negative comments or negative stuff or whatever. I get it. I don't either. But do I respond to every negative comment that come to my way? No, I either block it and I keep it moving or I ignore it and I keep it moving. I just happen to say this because I'm like, I don't even know this chick and I don't even know, I really don't know much of this chick and she just coming at me like I am her worst enemy. And I'm like, you, you're getting mad at the wrong person. The wrong person. I'm not being negative. I didn't say nothing negative about you at all i'm just doing my job as a youtuber they want they kept begging me to talk about that situation so i addressed it that's it how is that me being negative because it's, it's not it's not putting you in a good light well they i mean rumors do sometimes rumors are have some truth to it i mean i'm just saying i'm just saying so please spare me the BS with your high almighty behind talking about, oh, I am beyond that. If you were beyond that, 
chick, you wouldn't have said anything. And most of the time, I'm beyond that because I really don't say much to people when they want to, you know, go toe to toe with me. I may every now and then because I am, because I may, it may be the right day that day because sometimes I am the right one and sometimes I'm not. I pick and choose. But right now, but since you want to bring all that attention my way because you're insecure about the situation, because like I said, I didn't do anything but, but be the messenger. Then that's when I had to say something. Because I'm like, you're not going to put me out there without put, indirectly acting like a high schooler. Since you want to bring up high school, you're acting like a high school because you're being indirect. Where's up me? It's here, baby. It's being direct towards you, Melissa MJ Sonstress Jimenez. You get mad at the wrong person, baby, because I ain't do nothing to you. I didn't make up this stuff about you. I didn't even say you were a bad person. I did it. So what are you saying? You're getting mad at the wrong person, please. Stop with the BS again. And I'm now officially done with it. Goodbye.